Adam Fogarty. Six foot four inch, mountain of a man. You may know him as Gorgeous George, the bare knuckle fighter from Guy Ritchie's Snatch, but Adam was the real deal. Power punching, heavyweight prospect, who beat every man that he faced, including a victory over Big John Fury, Tyson Fury's father. And not only was Adam a professional boxer with knockout power, but he also played rugby league, where his toughness came in very handy. And he also became an accomplished actor with roles in Legend alongside Tom Hardy and of course the role in Snatch as Gorgeous George the Fighter. As a boxer, Adam was a heavyweight prospect and he actually beat every man that he faced in his 19 fights. Oh, quite right hand. Punching in the last round, yeah, it was very good. Lovely, lovely left jab followed by the right hand. Yep, nice. Wonder to keep his head up a little bit. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, it was Goes right in. Beautiful punch. Oh. Adam also fought and beat Tim Morrison, who was the brother of power punching American heavyweight Tommy Morrison. So Adam Fogarty was born in Oldham in March 1969. Adam's father, Terry Fogarty, was one of the best rugby league forwards in the 1960s and 1970s. So it's no surprise that after moving to the Isle of Man in the 1980s, Adam became the youngest person ever to represent the Isle of Man in rugby at just 15 years old. Adam took up professional boxing at the age of 18 and in his second fight, he beat Big John Fury, who was actually making his debut fight. Adam told me Big John Fury was very tough and game and after Adam floored John, he was straight back up and ready to fight before the counter started. And the pair would actually become friends and regularly spar each other after the fight. Incidentally, Big John Fury went on to have 13 fights, losing to Neil Malpass. Oh, that's it. Future WBO heavyweight champ Henry Akinwandi and Steve Garber. So Adam Fogarty ended his boxing career with 18 wins, one loss. That was a points loss against Paul Lister and Adam avenged that loss in the rematch by stopping Lister by TKO. And that was an eliminator for the British heavyweight title. So during his boxing career, Adam sparred a lot of top fighters, including going over to America with my friend, Big Joe Egan. And they both sparred Mitch Green, former Mike Tyson opponent and also gang member. Adam said, and Joe said, that Mitch Green was very unpredictable in sparring and uh, even when the bell went, Mitch Green would keep on fighting. He treated the spar like a fight. Adam was also the main sparring partner for Gary Mason, who at the time was ranked in the world top five. So Adam sparred Gary Mason for many fights, including for the massive Lennox Lewis fight. And during that sparring, Adam Fogarty landed a big right hand on Gary Mason's eye, which immediately put a halt to the sparring. And that would be the last spar before Gary Mason fought Lennox Lewis, which goes to show the heart that he had because he went into the Lennox Lewis fight with that eye injury from the sparring with Adam. Mason's right eye is now certainly totally shut. Larry O'Connell had a good close look at it there and I think he's gonna to have to make his mind up pretty shortly. I don't know how long his courage can sustain him here. He's taking too much and he's badly hurt. He screwed his face up in pain, and I really do think this is going to have to be brought to an end in a minute. But Mason is having one last desperate go in round seven. He's putting everything into a do-or-die effort. And it's called off. That was the last fling for Gary Mason. So now Adam had beaten everyone that he had faced and it was looking like he was like going to be lined up for a British title or a European title. 
but he was unhappy with certain things behind the scenes. So he took a rest from boxing and went into rugby league and ended up staying in rugby league. Adam played for Halifax initially in St. Helens, where he won a Super League medal. Then Warrington Wolves, an incident in particular that gained notoriety for Adam. When St. Helens played Wigan, Adam was involved in a fight with Neil Cowie and a headbutt was thrown from Adam. This was in retaliation for a rough tackle earlier in the match, resulting in a scuffle and both men being sent to the sim bin. Around this time as well, Adam had started acting. His first role was alongside Daniel Craig. No more! No more! You may be the heavyweight champion of our country, but you're a disgrace to it. What are you doing in my club? You do what I say when I say it. Please! You get all your shoppy little computer games. Barrick! Yeah. What are you doing? Bopper boppers, bump them up. Knock them down. Oh, well, oh, oh, what? What is she doing here? What on earth is going on in there? Just a little warm up session to get the blood flowing. <laughs> You're not in here to have fun. You're in a fight. Adam's had roles in Shooting Fish, Brassed Off, in Coronation Street. Adam starred alongside Tom Hardy in the film Legend, where Tom put on an amazing performance playing both Cray twins. Adam has acted alongside Helen Mirren, Michelle Pfeiffer, Robert De Niro in Stardust, and of course, Brad Pitt in Snatch. So those people that know Adam speak of his humbleness, his good nature, and his mild manners, which is often the case with men that can actually truly have a fight. So Adam Fogarty, a powerful man, a tough man, but a good man, very respected and very humble, with a great sense of humor. And he has lived an amazing life. So thank you for watching everyone. I really appreciate that. If you've got this far, uh, please feel free to hit the like button or to subscribe. It really helps with the channel. Please, please leave a comment as well. Uh, it means the world to me to get all your positive comments and I always try and reply to as many as I can. And um, yeah, I really look forward to talking to you all. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thank you everyone.